Hello, and welcome to the Midgar Press. My name's Jay. So now we're going to cover the journeys. So between the adventures, the player characters will travel all over the Misty Vale, or they should. There's a lot for them to see. They might return to Outskirt to lick their wounds or maybe head straight to the next adventure. To play out these journeys, you use the travel rules in Chapter 8 of the rulebook, and the map of the Misty Vale is not exact, so you may have to estimate the distances and how long the journey really is. So we have a random encounters table for being around Outskirt itself. So, to D12, 1 through 6, nothing happens. The journey, uh, the, the journey through grain fields and rolling hills is uneventful. But there are things that could potentially happen. Uh, number 7 of the D12, Merchant. The player characters encounter a good-natured halfling merchant named Theobald. On his donkey-drawn cart, he is... He has the most uh, most of the common items listed in Chapter 6 of the rulebook, and even a few uncommon items. He also uh, can share a rumor about an adventure site, page 17, and would like to hear news from the player characters. <clears throat> Number 8 of the D12. Farmers. Farmer Oda and her grown son, Medvin, are on their way to Outskirt to sell their wares and be... Uh, and would like to share camp with the player characters. However, Medvin has recently been recruited to the Sothmog cult by Lorana and asks lots of questions about the player characters' plans. He reports everything they say to Lorana. They can even run into Medvin a second time. For example, during the confrontation at the Crypt of the Underman. Nine of the Ds, well, bandits. Bandits, I always love bandits. A band of unwashed thugs jumps out of a bend in the road. Weapons drawn and pointed at the player characters, the leader is a rat-like man with a greasy smile that leaves much to be desired in terms of both teeth and personal charm. Hand over your valuables, he hisses. All your lives and adventures end right here. The bandit, the bandits outnumber the player characters uh, by one, and have the stats of typical bandits on page one hundred five of the rulebook. They flee if half of them are defeated, because you know once they're defeated, they can run off and regather. Ten of the D twelve adventurers, three banged up adventurers are on their way home from the same adventure site. The player characters are headed to. They are a human thief, a wolfkin warrior, and a mallard wizard, all with stats as typical adventures on page 105 of the rule book. They have taken a brutal beating and warned the player characters to turn back. They can even provide details about the site if they get something in return. 11 of the D12. We're almost there. Dead cultist. Three dead humans are hanging from a tree by the roadside, all wearing black robes. A closer look reveals sword wounds on their bodies. They bear the mark of Sothmog on their forearm. The player characters notice that this, if they actively look there or succeed on a spot hidden roll. These poor souls are Sothmog cultists slain by Elodin Knight Tylos as a warning. That's page 30. 12 of the D12. Ruin. A short distance from the road is a ruin from the age of the Dragon Empire. Only wall segments remain of what was once an impressive fortress. Reliefs on the wall show a figure in a horned dragon helmet. If the player character spend one shift of time investigating the ruin, they find the entrance to be a secret cellar. Down there is a chest Draw two treasure cards and see what it contains. That's it. 
it's fairly simple, very straightforward. You know, these random encounters, they aren't meant to be, like, game-changing. They're not meant to kill your players. They're not meant to really drag them down. It's really just to give your players a different type of encounter that does not involve them slicing and dicing. Now, don't get me wrong. Your player characters could still slice and dice, give or take, which of the different random encounters actually play out. Um, but they're not liable to do that. You know, they're, they're, most typical parties won't. But they still could. Um, I like, I, I want to expand this list. Uh, I'd love to make it a D20. So what are some other encounters your players could see could happen to them? Um, and they don't have to be, you know, fighting. They don't have to be combat. What are some non-combat encounters that you would like to see within the random encounters around Outskirt? Hmm? So go ahead and like this video, comment down below what you think, and of course, share this video. If you've got a friend who might have a good idea, share it with them, see what they think. Hey, until next time, live on and game on, my friends.